Daniel here for Tabletop for One. Please join me at the table as I teach and play through Raising Robots. And I thank you for joining me for this tutorial and solo playthrough of Raising Robots. This is designed by Brett Sobel and Seth Van Orden and published by Navu Games. Now, I had backed this Kickstarter, got the deluxe edition here, and I'm looking forward to showing it to you on the table here. Now, in Raising Robots, this is a Tableau engine building game where you're building out robots into different rows and then activating them later on your turns to either gain resources or convert resources and gain points. Now in the solo mode, this is a beat your own score solo mode with ranks and the game also encourages you to play three games in a row without shuffling the deck and total your score at the end of that to see how you compare on the ranks. And so let's go into setup here. Now first you're going to need a player board like so and then the center board here. Then you'll need about 10 energy cubes and you can just set those off to the side up here. You have the round marker which we'll place on round one, like so. And then you're going to take one of each resource token, we're going to place them all up here. Just bear in mind that you'll want to keep them on their single side, not their 10 plus side. Except for the big star, the big star is always times 10. And so we have duct tape, programs, sensors, gears, microchips, and batteries. And then the stars are worth points. And then you're going to move the duct tape to three and the battery to three. You have three arrow tokens, which you're just gonna keep set off to the side for now. You have your meeple, which will go next to where the inventor card will go. And then you have four of each of the upgrade tokens. You're gonna to match these upgrade tokens to the outlined circles on the board. So you can see right here, there's an orange one, a pink one, and a green one. So we'll add tokens there accordingly. And you're gonna do this for all of the tokens that show so all of these circled areas with their colors. And then you'll have multiple decks. We'll have the class cards, the inventor cards, and the robot cards shuffled and off to the side. And you'll give yourself a set of energy cards. Now you'll want to note that there are only eight cards that show the number one player amount on here. So there's some that say just one plus or one to six, one to three, and so on. So only the ones that show the, uh, the number one on them, you'll add those into your deck. You're gonna shuffle this up and set this aside for now, there's four other cards that will be removed and those just go back into the box. And then you're gonna give yourself a set of phase cards. And so it's one set that shows each of the different actions. You'll set them right here. Then you'll take another set of phase cards. You're gonna shuffle these up and you're gonna line them up here for the AI. The AI is gonna activate some turns. And then you'll take six of the power cubes and you're gonna place one, then two, then one and two like this. And then the last part of setup is you're going to draw eight cards from the robot deck, then two inventor cards, and then two of the class cards. And you'll have these all available to look at. And so you're going to choose between these which to take. And you can look at everything first to see what you want. Now, your first game, you're not going to quite know exactly what you want. And so I'm going to talk about some of these cards here. So we have the class cards. These are our end game scoring goals. And so you'll want to try and achieve these goals. And what it tells you is what it wants. So this one here wants robots with uh, one power requirement to assemble. And so if you make uh, you know, three, four, five, or six of them, you'll gain two, five, nine, or 13 points. This one here wants robots that take six or seven power to activate. And so I wanna choose between these two. And so with that in mind, I wanna look at my robot cards and see what I have. Now the powers to activate are down at the bottom here. I'll show you a more detailed explanation of anatomy. So there's one seven, there's one with six, and one with six here. So there's only three cards that match that. The other option was uh, robot cards that take one power to assemble. And so the power requirements shown up here at the top. And so there's a couple there for one. There's three of them for one. So it's kind of hard to choose, but I like this one here because it gives points. And yeah, these give points. Yeah, so I like those. I think I'll go with this class card here. That'll be my choice. We'll just set it right here. And so we'll discard this card. And then we're gonna choose the inventor here. And of these two cards here, I've chosen Luis, and I'll explain inventor cards shortly, but that will be my choice for the game. And then we have our robots here, and you get to choose five of these. So I want the three that have a power requirement to assemble of one. So these three here. Now, one thing to note is that uh, you get to build two of your robots right away. But I think I'm gonna go with these two cards here, and then the rest of these will get discarded. Now I need to decide which of these I'm going to build right away. 
And so I think I'm going to build these two here. Now you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, it tells you which lane they go in. And so they're going to go in these lanes here. And since I'm building in this slot here, it's going to cost an extra resource. So I'll have to take that off my duct tape there. But we'll place these in just like so. The rest of these three cards are going to go in my hand. And I'll just kind of place them over here for you to see. Now the last part of setup is I get to take an upgrade. But I also get one from Louise here as well as an extra duct tape. So we'll move that up. And so for the upgrade... I get to take any of these upgrade tokens off the board and then I can place them in my inventory. I don't have to use them right away and you can use them at any time. And so that's often very useful. And so I'm going to take these two upgrades here, this green and pink one. Now this pink one is going to augment the fabricate, which I'll explain about upgrades shortly. But anytime you take an upgrade from the upgrade action, you get an inspiration, which allows you to look at three class cards and choose one, or you get two resources of your choice or you can gain four battery power. And so I think I'll gain the four battery power for that. Now I have these upgrades. I can put them in my inventory or use them right away. I'm actually gonna use them right away. I'm gonna place them on these cards here to show that they've been upgraded. And that will make more sense when I talk about activating robots. All right, so that's it for setup. Now on your turn, you're gonna first draw two cards from the power deck and you're gonna place those out in front of you. And so let's talk about what these cards show. So they show the power that you're gonna get for the actions. Plus, they'll show if you get a cube or not, or if cubes are worth more. Normally, cubes are worth an additional power, whereas this card makes any cubes used for that action to be worth two instead of one. And so if we place these out here, and if I choose two actions to do, I'll place them underneath here, and let's say I placed upgrade and fabricate like so, then I would gain one power cube for fabricate because it shows one above it. We'll place it up here in fabricate. I gain no power cubes for the upgrade action. Then at that point, now that we've chosen our actions, we flip over the first two cards of the AI's turn. And so we have assemble and recycle. And so then we take the power cubes above those actions and place those in those areas. Those signify additional power that we'll be able to use. And so the only actions for the turn are gonna be the ones that you choose and the ones that the AI chooses for the round. And so we have all four of these actions, which is kind of rare. Normally I don't get all four actions. And so we'll be able to activate these. Now they activate in order as shown here at the top or as shown on your board following arrows. So upgrade, assemble, design, fabricate, and recycle. And so I wanna give you a quick description of the different actions here. So we have upgrade, which lets you spend resources to gain upgrades. And again, upgrades are removing these tokens from different areas, which help improve those abilities. Then we have assemble, which lets you build a robot or robots, depending on how much power you have. Then we have design, fabricate, and recycle. And these activate the different rows of the different robots you have. Now they have base activations, so you'll gain resources and stuff by those base activations, but then you have all the uh, robots in the row. Now on these three here, they activate top to bottom, then left to right on the robots. And I'll explain that as we get to that point. Now the first thing you're gonna do is determine how much power you have for an action. So we're starting off with the upgrade action here. And so I have two power on my card. And then we look up here and see if there's any power in that spot. And there is no energy cubes here, so there's no additional power. Now had I had an additional energy cube here, and my card says that energy cubes are worth two, then that would give me two extra power, making it a total of four. But since I do not have the energy cubes there, I only have a power of two. Now, if you want, you can take an energy cube to track your energy usage for each action. You're going to move your meeple along, place it in that spot, and then do that action. Now, on upgrade here, we have one, three, five, and seven power requirements to do the action. So if I did the one, I would have to spend four resources to upgrade. Now, this resource symbol here is a wild resource symbol. So it can be any one of the four major resources, so the microchips, gear, sensors, and programs, or you can spend one duct tape. Duct tape counts as one of those four resources, or you can even spend one of your robot cards. That blue part of the symbol there refers to a robot card. Now note that duct tape cannot be spent as a robot card, so keep that in mind. So I could spend four resources to upgrade and take one of these upgrade tokens and add it to my inventory. Now what I could also do since I have two power is do this twice. So I could spend one, spend one power once and then upgrade it by spending four resources, then spend another power and do that again. Or if let's say I had five power, I could do the three power one and then the one power one and then maybe the one power one again if I have that many resources. 
So you can split that power up as much as you would like and to do as many of those as you want. You can do the same thing for the assemble. These three here act differently, which I'll explain. Now, anytime you're spending resources, you just slide the resource uh, up and down. So in this case here, if I was spending four resources on uh, this particular upgrade, I could spend, you know, let's say two duct tape and then two of my cards, discarding these cards as those resources. And so the next action is called assemble. Now I did not pick the action for assemble, the AI did. And so we look at the energy cubes to decide how much power we have. Well, there's only one. And so I only get one power for that action, but it does give me the possibility of doing that action. So if I wanted to, I could build one of my robots. See this robot here can either be built with one power or five power. And depending on how much power you use is how many resources you're gonna to need to build it. So in this case here, this card is called Epic. If I would built it at the one power level, which it's currently at, it would cost me two chips and two sensors. However, if I had five power, it would cost me two chips. Now, here's the thing, is I can actually spend battery power to power up my action for the turn. So when you're determining power for your action, you spend it like a resource. So in this case here, I only have one power for assembly, but let's say I wanted to do the five power version. Then I could spend four of that power. So now I have five power. Again, you can track it by a token here to you know keep track of it there. And so now it would only cost me two microchips, which I could spend with my duct tape here as those two microchips and then build a card. Now let's talk about the robot's card's anatomy here. So besides the resources cost in the upper left, we have in the upper right, we have a victory point value. So that's how many points it'll earn you at the end of the game. We have the icon by which lane it will go in between one of these three lanes here. So this one's a recycled robot. So it'll go in that first slot there. And then at the bottom, we have the activation costs. So when you activate a robot, you're gonna choose one or the other because this symbol here in the bottom left, the two arrows up and down the arrows, that means or. So you choose either the top action or the bottom action. But the bottom action of every robot is only available if you upgrade the robot. This robot in particular requires a blue upgrade token. So since I do not have one, I would only be able to activate it on the upper level. But I will talk about activations in a little bit. So I'll set them aside for now. And once again, when you're building robots, if you have excess power and resources available, you can build multiple robots during one assemble action. And so now we move on. Now design was not picked as one of the actions, neither by the AI nor by me. So design does not happen. Even if you have robots there, nothing happens there because it was not activated and you cannot spend power to activate an action that was not picked. Now the way that each of these three lanes work is very similar. So first we need to determine power. Now I have a three power card above my fabricate action. So I automatically get three power. We now count how many energy cubes there are. There's one. So that makes it four power. So I have four power for this action here. So what you do is you look to see, did I upgrade the top upgrade? Yes, I did. That actually gives me an additional power. So now I'm at five power for this activation. And then I can look and see if I wanna spend any additional power to activate these here. Now I probably wanna spend at least one additional power because this robot here requires six power to activate. So I'm gonna spend one battery to increase that by one. And so now you activate everything here, top to bottom, then left to right, that matches your power level or below. So first of all here, we have a power level of one. Well, we obviously match that. So I will gain either a chip or a gear. So let's just say I gained a chip there. This next one here at a power level of four, which I reached, I can gain either a gear or a sensor. So I'll gain a sensor. And then this next one here, since I upgraded this guy, I can use the bottom ability. So the top ability lets me get a point or the bottom ability lets me get a point and a power. So I'll get a point and a power like so. And then we move on to the next robot here in this one. Since I have it upgraded, I can use the bottom ability. Now I can choose between these two because if I wanted just two gears, I could get that. But of course it's not better than this other ability since I upgraded it, I get a gear and two duct tape. Again, duct tape is wild for the four major resources. So that's very nice. All right, so that's all been activated. And now we move on to the next action, which is recycle. Now I did not pick that action, but there are two energy cubes up there. So I have a, a power of two for that activation. Now I definitely wanna look into getting a power of three because then I can activate this robot. So let's say I spend one power there and now I have three total power 
for this activation. And so we start our activation and I did cross that threshold of one. So I gained two, pow uh, two battery power for that. I didn't cross the four or the seven. So we skip those, move on to the robot. The robot, I reached the level of three. I can spend one program to gain two points. And so I don't have any programs, but I do have duct tape. So I'll spend one duct tape and that'll gain me two points like so. And so that was the sample round of the game. Now, at the end of your turn, you're gonna move your meeple back to this position here. You'll activate any end of round effects, which are generally found on the inventors. So look for those in the bottom right hand corner if the inventor has them. Then you'll discard your power cards. You can't use them again until it gets shuffled, which will happen in between rounds four and five. You'll take these back into your hand, but you can use them again for the next round. They aren't left out for the next round. So you can use any of those actions. We'll remove all of these energy cubes from up there, and then we'll move the round marker. Now, like I said, if the round marker goes from four to five, we'll be shuffling our energy cards, and then we'll be drawing three new class cards and choosing one to keep. And so we'll get that additional class card. Now you can only ever have three total class cards. And if at some point you gain a class card and you have three already, you'll have to get rid of one. Once we finish round eight, the game will end. All right, and one last thing I wanna mention is how you upgrade Luis here, or any of the in inventors. They have a requirement in the bottom left-hand corner here, and so Luis requires an orange upgrade token and that you have built four robots. So it'll take a little bit for me to upgrade him, but I'll aim towards that. Also, if you upgrade any class cards, you'll actually earn the level higher than what you've earned. So in this case here, let's say I had three robots at the end of the game and I had upgraded this, then I would count it as the next rank higher, which is a C for five points instead of two. You can track your progress on class cards using the arrow tokens like so. And there are some class cards that actually require an upgrade token to get the highest rank. All right, so I've reset everything and shuffled it and we're ready to start the game. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw two new cards. Let's see what we get here. All right, that's some good power there. So there's a lot of power here, three and four plus two energy tokens to those areas. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. I probably want to do upgrade because upgrade, you know, to get a big discount on the resource cost, you want higher power. So I'll choose upgrade for this action here. And then I think I'm gonna do the fabricate action because I, I like my robots, they're already upgraded. I want to get them start building stuff. So. We'll choose those two, and then we're gonna flip over the AI's cards here. And so they have upgrade as well. So we're gonna get one token there. And then, oh my goodness, they have fabricate. Wow. So everything's gonna get boosted here. But that also means there's only two actions that are gonna happen for this first round. So that's kind of unfortunate. And so I do need to add my tokens. So we add two to the upgrade and then two to the fabricate. All right, so the first action of the, the turn is upgrade. And so I'll look at how much power I have. I have four here plus three tokens. So that's seven total. I don't need to augment that at all. I don't need to spend battery power. I can just upgrade for one resource. So I will spend one of the duct tape here to activate that. Now I could split that. I could do, you know, two threes if I want to, or five and a one, but that costs a lot of resources I don't have. So we're just gonna do the one upgrade. And with Fabricate getting so much power this turn, I'm tempted to just upgrade this one here, which will get me additional points for reaching level seven here. So I think that's a good call. I could upgrade one of these here, which will give me more resources, but I think I'll go with that. Now, like I said before, you don't have to spend your upgrade tokens. They can just sit in inventory for a while and uh, you can use them at any point. All right, so for the next action, we look at assembly. There's nothing there. Nothing for design, we move on to fabricate because those actions were not chosen, neither was recycle. So we move on to fabricate, check our power. I have three here, plus four there, plus one here. So it's eight total, that's way more than enough. So I get to activate everything here, as well as both of my robots because their requirements are pretty low. Well, two for this one and then six for this one. So I, I exceeded all those thresholds. So I have to get some resources here. I might as well get one microchip because I'm gonna get some gears here and then I can get a gear or a sensor. Well, let's look at my cards. Let's see what I need. I need chips, gears, chips and programs, only a little bit on the sensors if I need them, but I might as well get one sensor. And then we look down here and I get a total of three points now. So that's a nice boost right off the bat. And then we move on to the next robot here. And then we move on to the first robot, again, left to right. We're gonna choose the bottom action, gaining one point and one battery. And then the next robot here, gaining one gear and then two duct tape. 
All right, we skip recycle, go on back down to here. We don't have any end of turn effects. We're gonna remove all this power here, discard these two cards, and then we're gonna move the round marker up one space and we're ready for the next round. So the first thing we do is we draw two new power and let's see what we get, four and three again. Now, I definitely wanna activate the robots again. So we're gonna go with Fabricate because the AI is not gonna pick Fabricate. They've already used it once and so we don't know what they're gonna get from these here. I definitely wanna assemble and I don't wanna risk the AI not picking it so I'm gonna put assemble here because I wanna get another robot out, especially in the recycle action. And especially if I build it during the assembly phase and the AI activates recycle, then this will activate, so that'll be nice. That is assuming I have enough power to activate it. All right, so now we flip over the AI's card. We have Recycle and Assemble. All right, so that kind of worked out. We get the two energy going here, one energy to Recycle, and then one energy to Fabricate from my card. So that's not too bad. We got three actions this round. And so we skip on up to Assemble, skipping upgrade because it was not chosen. So for Assemble, we're gonna build a robot. Now, let's see, we have a power of five. So I could effectively build two robots if I can afford it, but I don't think I can. Or I can just build the one. Yeah, I don't think I have enough resources to build two. So I'm gonna build this one here. Now it's only gonna cost me two chips because the power level is five. And so, yeah, I get to build Epic right away here. And so two chips, we have one here and then one for my duct tape. Now I want to remind you that if you build beyond the first space in any of these rows, it starts costing additional resources. So one here, two, then three and three. So keep that in mind. All right, so we move on to the next action, skipping design down to fabricate here. Check our power for fabricate. We have four here, five, plus one here, that's six. And I might as well spend one battery to make it seven so I can activate this here. So we start out getting resources and I will gain one more chip, I think, and then one more sensor. And then we move on, I will gain one point and one battery power. And then here, one gear and then two more duct tape. So got a lot of resources going on. I did forget my three points here. Yeah, I don't wanna forget that. That's a lot of points to give up. So we're all the way up to eight points already. All right, so now we go on to recycle. We only have a power of one. We didn't choose that action, the AI did. It only gives us a power of one. And so basically we can activate this for two batteries. But if I wanna activate the robot, I'm gonna to have to spend some battery power. This robot can activate at a power level of three, which I can spend one program to get two points. And I think that's worth it. So I'm gonna spend the two battery power. So we're at a power level of three. Then for this first level of recycle, I will gain two battery power. And then we'll activate the robot here, spending one duct tape as that program to gain two points. And now we're up to 10. All right, so now we discard these cards here. We're gonna move our inventor back to the spot here. We'll clear this board and we're gonna shuffle all the AI's cards. Once it has revealed four cards, you'll shuffle these up here and you'll draw those five back out in the playing area here. So just like so. And then we'll have to add those tokens back on top of the cards. So one, two, one, and two like so. Then we'll move the round marker up one space and we're ready for the next round. All right, so we draw two cards and let's see where we're at. Now I did notice that I've reached the first level of my class card because I have three robots that have a, an assembly power cost of one. I've already earned two points on here. We're gonna try and increase that. Now I don't have a lot of cards. You get cards from design. So I may wanna look at doing that because if I build this one here, this one lets me gain cards and points. So I may wanna do that. So with that in mind, maybe I should do assembly, but I'm also tempted to fabricate to get more resources. So let's do both. And these energy cards are the same, just so it doesn't matter which one I put underneath. And then we'll flip this over and see what we get. We have Recycle, so Recycle's gonna get one cube, and then Upgrade gets two cubes. Wow, that is unfortunate. I mean, it's nice to have all those abilities, but at the same time, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to play my cards. We'll, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. All right, so we go to Upgrade first. Now we have an Upgrade power of two, and so if I want to, I can spend four resources to upgrade, or I can spend one battery power to make it a power level of three to spend three resources to upgrade. Now, I definitely wanna look at this card here and decide which way I wanna go with this. I can spend three gears if I have a power level of seven, which is not gonna happen. I don't have enough battery power and I'm not gonna get enough power from assemble. So that's not gonna happen. So it's gonna cost me three and two, which I can afford, but that's gonna leave me with one chip and three duct tape left over. And if I spend that chip and duct tape right now for an upgrade, I'm not sure that that's worth it. But you know what, let's risk it anyway. So one chip and then one, two, three duct tape. 
Now, I could have spent this, uh, this card here as one of those resources. I mean, maybe that's what I should have done. So I'm gonna take back one duct tape and spend this card. All right, so now I get an upgrade. And this time I want an orange upgrade because I'm gonna upgrade Luis here because he requires an orange card to upgrade and I'll, I'll have completed his requirement of four robots by the end of this turn. So that'll be good. So maybe I should take this one off of Fabricate since we're gonna do Fabricate anyways. And that'll give me some additional battery power. And so I'll place it to the side for now because I can't place it on Luis just yet. He needs to have those four robots first. All right, so now we move on to assemble here. And then we're gonna assemble this card here, but I need a power of three to assemble it. So I'm gonna have to spend one battery power for that because I only had a power of two. And then I need to spend three gears. So one, two, and then three, and then two sensors, one and two. Now I'm getting low on resources, but I built that card, so that's good. And next we move on to fabricate, skipping design. And so let's check out our power here. We have two plus one, so that's three. And so I definitely want to power it up a little bit. Might as well spend all three power here to make it a six. And so I won't get the seven bonus, which is unfortunate, but I will get this bonus here. So that's what I was going for. So first of all, we have the first power and that's going to be either a chip or a gear. And I guess I might as well get a chip. Then since I upgraded it here, I also get a battery power. Then I get a gear or a sensor. I'll gain a sensor off of that. And then we move on to the robot. We get a power and a point. So now I'm moving on to 11 points here, which means I get my 10 times star up here. So you move this 10 times every time you cross that threshold. And then last but not least, I get a gear and then I get two duct tape. So one and two. All right, so now we move on to recycle here. Now recycle has a power of one. So we meet this threshold of one to get two batteries, but I can't activate this robot unless I spend two batteries first. So let's see, should I spend it? I might as well, I'll spend the two batteries and make it a power level of three. And so now we activate the action. So I gain those two batteries back and then I'll spend one duct tape as a program to gain two more points. All right, so now it's the end of the turn. We discard these two cards here. We clear this of tokens, moving this forward and we're ready to go. So we draw our last two cards of our energy deck. So we have a one and a three. Now I'm not gonna use assemble because I don't have any cards to assemble. So I should probably use design and I think I'll do design at the power of three. And I should probably just do fabricate in this spot here. Now I'm kind of hoping that AI powers up both of these abilities. All right, so let's see what they do. They're gonna do fabricate and then assemble. And so fabricate is gonna get the one cube here. Assemble will get these two cubes here. And then I will get one cube from my card for design. Now the nice thing about the fabricate getting a cube is it's worth two because of this card. So now I have an energy level of three. And so I may want to increase that, but that's a good start. Now, before I do anything else, I want to upgrade Luis. See, I have four robots now as his requirement. I also have one of those orange upgrade discs. So we'll place it right here to show that he's been upgraded. That gives me a free duct tape and then a free upgrade. And so I'm going to take this blue upgrade here off of design and add it to this robot because I want him to be upgraded. And so now I can gain two cards and two points if I have him fully powered. And so now we'll start the actions of the turn. We go to assemble, can't assemble anything. I don't have any cards. So we're gonna skip on down to design. And so now we check out our power for design. We have three here plus one. So that's four power. And so I will spend one power to make that five because I wanna activate that robot. And then we go ahead and activate. So first of all, we gain one program. I'm actually gonna move this 10 times star up above here. That'll probably be easier. And I gain one battery power. Then I can discard X amount of cards to gain X amount of cards plus one. I don't have any cards, so I discard zero to draw one card. So let's see what I get. All right, so it's another Fabricate card. I may want to try and get this in play, we'll see. It's worth five points too, so that's kind of nice. All right, and then we move on to this robot. Since I have a power of five, I get to activate this robot's upgraded ability. I draw two more cards, and so, wow, this is great. This is one of those cards that has a one energy assembly cost. So this is really good. And both of these are fabricates. So since I've been doing fabricate a lot, I can fill this out a little bit more. And I also get two points. So that was a nice, nice little boost there. All right, moving on to the fabricate action. So we'll drop this down here. Now I have a total power of three. And if I wanna activate this robot, I need six. I, I can't activate it this turn. I just don't have enough power. So that's not gonna happen. Actually, you know what? I have a power here, so that's four. So I can spend the two battery power to make it a six. 
Great, that actually worked out. Okay, so we'll do the first one here, and it's gained a chip. Uh, yeah, let's gain a chip. Actually, you know what? I need more gears than chips based on the cards I have here. So we'll gain a gear instead. We'll gain one battery power, and then we'll gain a gear or a sensor. I'll gain a sensor off of that. And then we move on to this one here, gaining one battery power and one point. And then the last one here, gaining one gear, and then a two duct tape. All right, not too bad for activations there. Now we do not have recycle, we skipped on down, and that's gonna end our turn. All right, so now we're gonna clear our energy cubes. We're gonna clear these here, and now we go into skipping over to round number five, but while we do that, we have to shuffle our energy deck. So we're gonna start this all over again. And then I'm gonna draw three class cards here and choose one of them to keep. Now this class card likes robots that have a three activation for the assembly cost. And I only have one robot out and one in my cards. I don't think that's enough. So we'll move on. This one wants you to have lots of robots. I don't know how many I'm gonna have. This one wants you to have lots of cards. I, I guess I'll go with the lots of robots one because I think that's more doable than the others. So we'll get rid of these other ones. All right, and we have to reset the AI's cards as well and put the energy cubes back up above those cards. One, two, one, and two. All right, so we're ready for the next round. And let's see, I kind of want to fabricate this guy, or sorry, assembly this guy so I can use him in fabrication later. Now he does require a power of seven to be used and I, I, I should have enough resources to make him. So I should probably do assembly right away, but I guess we should draw our energy cards first because we'll see how much energy we have to work with. Oh, not bad at all. So I could just do assembly and fabrication again. But then again, I may want to upgrade something because I could upgrade fabrication again. That's gonna give me more stuff. Or I could upgrade assembly. That might be good as well. It'll make it easier on assembling robots. So what if I do fabricate here and then upgrade here and see what happens? All right, so we'll draw the AI's card. They have assemble, not bad, and recycle, okay. So we're gonna get to do four actions this turn. I get one on upgrade here. All right, so we go to our first action and it's upgrade. And now we have a power of five to start off the bat. So it only costs me two resources to upgrade and I think that's worth it. So I'm gonna spend one here and one here. Actually not the program, I will spend one gear instead. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so now I get an upgrade and I'm tempted to take one from here, but I should probably take this one here, I'm not sure. Well, I did talk about getting one from assembly, so let's do that. So I'll take that one from assembly and I don't wanna place this anywhere right now. I could place it here, but I think I'm gonna wait. I'll just put it in my inventory for now. All right, so now we go to assembly. With this upgrade now, I have an extra power of two. So with that one energy cube and that two power, that's the power of three. And so with three power in mind, I think I'm gonna build out this one here. And so this one only costs two gears and one sensor. So two gears, one sensor, and we'll place it right here. Now it's gonna cost two additional resources to place here. So we'll spend, I guess, these two here. And then we'll move on to the next action, which is fabricate. And we have a power of three plus one here, so that's four. We'll spend two battery power to make it six. That way I can activate all these robots. Now, one thing here before we activate, I'm gonna upgrade that robot, making it more powerful, giving me duct tape and battery power. All right, so now we activate this here. I have a power of six, so I'll only get the first two. So we'll gain one gear and then one battery power. Next one here, we'll gain one sensor. And then we'll move on to this robot, gaining one battery power, one point, then one gear and two duct tape, and then one duct tape and one battery power. All right, so we move on to recycle here. And so with recycle, I didn't pick it, but I have a power of two. And I might as well spend one power to make that a power of three. And so, actually we'll spend two, we'll make it a power of four, okay. So we'll activate this first, that's gonna be two power. Then this next one here lets me spend a power to gain a duct tape. So we'll spend a power to do that. That'll give us one more there. And then we can spend one program, which I'll spend as a duct tape to gain two more points. All right, so that ends that turn. Moving on to the next round here. We'll draw two cards here, hopefully some high numbers. Let's see. Oh, not bad at all. Now I'm gonna do assembly and fabricate. So let's see, we'll do fabricate there and assembly here. And then we'll check the AI and the AI is gonna do fabricate, nice. And then design, all right. And I also get two cubes and fabricate from my card here. All right, so the first action of the turn is to assemble. I have two power here and two here. So that's gonna be four total. 
If I spend one more, this robot's gonna cost less. So let's do that. I'm gonna build out this robot at two programs. I don't have any programs there, but I'll spend duct tape instead. Placing it right here. Now it's gonna cost me three resources. And so it might as well be one sensor and two gears there. And so we'll place it. And then we move on to design. Now with design, I have a power of two from the AI. And so I probably wanna spend one battery power to make it three. So we'll activate this here. I gain one program and one battery power. And then we'll activate this one on the top ability because I don't have enough power for the bottom one. I'll gain one additional card, which is this card here. Oh, nice. It's another uh, one energy assembly. So that's really good. And then I'll gain one point as well. Now I'm up to 20 points already. And so now we move on down to fabricate. So let's total our fabricate here. Three here, three here, that's six plus one, that's seven. So I don't even have to add any. So we're gonna activate everything. Everything here is gonna be activated, all right. So first off, we need some resources. We'll gain a gear and a battery power. And then a gear or a sensor, we'll just gain another gear. And then we'll gain a total of three points. And that's gonna bump me up to 23 now. Then we gain a point and a battery power. And then we gain a gear and two duct tape. And then a duct tape and a battery. And then this last one here, I don't have it upgraded, so I get the top ability. That's gonna give me one chip and one sensor. Wow, lots of stuff there. And I do wanna note at this point, I have six cards on the table, which means I've reached the first level of this class card here. All right, so that's it for this turn. We'll clear these out, reset the AI, discard these cards, and move the round token. We're on to the next round. And so I'll draw two new energy cards here. Let's see, got a three and a one. I definitely wanna assemble, I'll put it at the one, because I don't need a high assembly value. And then we might as well put the fabricate right here because we're generating a lot of points there and other things. So we'll do that. We'll see what the AI gets. They're gonna do design at one cube and then fabricate at two cubes. I also get one cube for fabricate. So that's really good. It just help me, helps me power that up. All right, so the first one we do is assemble. And let's see, I have one power plus two here. So it's a power of three. I wanna build this one here. Now this one's gonna require three gears and two of the chips. Yeah, so I'm not gonna spend any battery power to build him. And in fact, if I wanted to, I could build two robots. See, with an assembly power of three, I can actually build both of these. Let's see if I have enough resources to pull that off. There's 10 resources to build them. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have enough resources to build both of them, unless I increase the power. So maybe that's what I should do. I will increase the power to seven. And so now I can build this one at a six and this one at a one. So first of all, that's gonna take six gears and two chips. So there's one chip, two chips, three gears, and then one, two, three, all right? And then for the placement, I need four resources. And so I can do these two here and then two more duct tape, all right? So now I get to place both of these. So that wasn't too bad, especially these points on these cards, five and six points. That's a lot of points to get on the board. So that was really good. On top of that, that puts me at eight cards. So I'll move this up one space. And furthermore, I haven't been tracking these uh, one energy cost cards or the one energy assembly. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I am already up there on that card. So that's really good. All right, so now we go on to design and design has been activated with a power of one. And I don't have any battery power to uh, boost that at all. So I only get this bonus here which is one program and one battery power. I mean, it's not horrible, but it would have been nice to get some more cards. And then next up we have Fabricate. Now I have three power here, plus three power, plus one. So once again, I activate everything, but these last two ones here are not upgraded. So keep that in mind. And so I'll gain one chip, one battery power, one gear, three points, then one point, one battery power, one gear, and two duct tape, then one duct tape, one battery, then I get one chip and one sensor. And then the last one here is one gear and one sensor. All right, so that ends that turn. We'll move these away and then we'll discard these cards. And we have our last two cards of the game. And let's see, we got a four and a two. All right, so what I wanna do this turn is I wanna assemble and I wanna upgrade. And so I think I'll put upgrade here and assembly here. I did forget to move this round marker because now this is the last round. All right, let's see what they got. Upgrade, all right, with one, that's not bad. And then we have assemble with two, wow. That actually kind of worked out. Of course, I would have liked to have more actions, but hey, I'm not complaining too much there. We'll add two more cubes to upgrade from my card here. Okay, so we go into upgrade here. 
All right, so with the upgrade action of having seven right now, seven power, I wanna upgrade that to 10 power. So we're gonna spend three battery here. And now that means I can do an upgrade at seven and an upgrade at three or two at five, however you wanna put it. It's the same amount of resources. So I'm gonna need to spend four resources. And so we'll spend one, two, three, and then four. And so then I get two upgrades. And the first one I wanna take is one of these here. And I'm not sure which one to take. I don't really need to upgrade anything. I guess I'll take the pink one. And then that lets me draw two new cards. So I'm gonna draw two new robot cards. Let's see what I get. Get these two cards here. Hopefully I'll be able to assemble these, we'll see. And then the second upgrade, I'm gonna take this one here, this green one, and place it right here to upgrade this card. I'll also place this blue one here to upgrade this card. All right, so now we go on to assembly. Now I have an assembly power of two plus two plus two more there. So that's six total. I'm gonna spend one battery to make it seven because now I'm gonna try and build these robots here. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to build both of these because I just don't have enough resources. It was so close, but just not enough. So I'm gonna choose between these two. I'll choose the one that is valued more. This one gives more points. And so with a power of six, I'm gonna be able to spend just two programs there to build this one, build it here. It's gonna cost two resources, so two gears there. All right, so that is it. I have no more actions to do, and we're going to the end of the game. And so first we're gonna add up all the robot cards. The robot cards had values in their upper right-hand corners. And so let's see. Looks like I have 39 total. So we're gonna add one, two, three, and then nine, which will put it here and moving this up one space. So, so far we're at 67 points. Then we look at the class cards here. Now this one actually moved up <laughs> because when I placed this card that made the sixth one of those robots. So I didn't really need the upgrade there, but that is worth 13 points. So we'll add those here. And then this last one here, it needs, uh, let's see, did I get enough robots? No, I have nine robots, so I didn't get to move up again. But with this upgrade here, it puts me up at the next level, so I get nine more points. And so now we're at 89 points. And so you add up all your resources, batteries, and, every, and your leftover cards, and you divide that by three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Divide by three, that's two points. So this will go to one, and this moves up to 91. And then you compare your total to the ranking here. And so 91 puts me at amateur. <laughs> so not so good, not so good. <laughs> but there you go, that was it. And so there you have it. That was my tutorial and solo playthrough of Raising Robots by Brett Sobel and Seth Van Orden and published by Nabu Games. As you can see, it turns out I was an amateur to this game. Uh, didn't score so high. I've actually gotten a lot higher before. I've gotten in the 130 range, which is epic. So. I don't know what happened this time. I focused too much on fabrication, I guess. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this game. Please also like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content you see here. And I thank you very much for joining me on Tabletop for One. Have a great night.